All right, guys. So now that we uh, have it working how we how we want it to work on our local machine, let's bring it back to um, ra the Raspberry Pi. So let me just get rid of some of this other stuff. Um, so how we can do that? Um, so we have the Raspberry Pi terminal up here. So we could just say sudo nano dot gps reader dot pi and just line by line copy these files in here uh, but that takes a while so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use something called scp which is it's secure copy and it's just a way we can copy files from one machine to another um, so on my local machine if i just open the command prompt and type scp you see that i have this scp tool um, and if you just google how to use scp it's going to give you the the syntax for it so this is basically what we want to do so we want to say scp for secure copy file.txt so this is our local file so this is going to be our local python file and this is going to be the raspberry pi uh, basically where we want to put it on the raspberry pi so in my case here's our text file or our, our python file we made we're just going to say where is copy or copy path absolute path so scp the path and then our our remote username which is pi at and then the ip address 102.168.0.169 and then colon forward slash and then we need to where do we want to put it on the raspberry pi so i want to put it right here my user my uh, home directory so if you just print the working directory which is pwd that just shows you where you are so we want to put it there so slash home slash pi slash let's just call it gps reader dot py so with any luck that should copy it so okay it wants my password for the raspberry pi so this is raspberry raspberry okay so it copied and now if we go back to the raspberry pi we can type ls and you see now we have a gps reader and we can just take a look at it so sudo nano gps reader dot pi and here it is um, so you notice we're gonna have to change these paths here because these aren't correct um, so so this is our input file so let me open up another session here okay so gps output so so we need home slash pi slash gps output that's our input file so slash home slash pi slash gps underscore output dot text and then this is going to be our our new output file all right so slash home slash pi slash gps output um, cleaner version <laughs> cleaner dot text um, Okay, so that should work. So control X, Y. And now we should just be able to, to run that. So Python 3, uh, GPS reader.py. And it looks like it already finished. So now we can take a look at um, GPS underscore output underscore cleaner. And there we go. We have the exact same uh, information that we got um, from our local machine we now it's running on the Pi so that's awesome that's what we wanted so why don't we just um, one other thing I want to run um, the GPS pipe again so I, I just want to get more output instead of just like 10 let's let's run it for like a hundred so just so we're gonna create a new GPS output so GPS pipe dash R dash N. Let's make this 100 dash O. And this is going to be um, 100 
GPS samples dot text and we'll let that run all right so it just finished so we should have a new file called 100 GPS samples so uh, there it is 100 GPS samples and let's just take a look at it so there we have a lot more data and if you remember we're only trying to get uh, what was it the RMC so GPR RMC so that's all we're filtering for. Um, so now if we just run this again, um, so we need to edit our GPS reader. So GPS reader, oops. GPS reader. We just need to change this. And I forget what the file was called 100 100 gps samples dot text then we'll just make a new output here one hundred gps samples cleaner dot text control x y to save it i'm just arrowing up till i find the python command there it is all right looks like it already did it so 100 gps samples cleaner dot text so there we go out of all the 100 lines there were only this many that were that um GP, I keep forgetting the GPRMC. Um, but yeah, I, I guess every every time the GPS logs a file, there's there's a lot of information that gets logged. So it's really up to you, whatever data you want to get back. Um, but yeah, I thought this was useful. Um, in the next video, I think I'm going to cover one other method of working with GPS data in Python, uh, and then I guess I'll just you guys can choose which method you like or which you prefer. Uh, it really just depends on what, what you're trying to do. Um, but yeah, hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe and like, and if you are interested, keep watching. Thanks.